Welcome to Global Online Friends. In this video, we are going to discuss some important MCQs on environmental economics for your upcoming UGC NET and SET in economics. So, if you are preparing for UGC NET or any other state level SET in economics, this crash course is very helpful to you. In this crash course, we are going to provide you complete theory lectures, complete MCQs lectures. We are providing entire syllabus mock test. And after attending the test, you will receive sol solution PDF of all the tests. Then we are providing notes on all the units. You will receive practice MCQ set. If you want to join, you can contact this number. You can comment in the comment box. Then you can also download our global online app from Play Store. So just if you type global online in the Play Store, you will, re you will get this app by going through this logo. You can download the app and after you have to register by using your mobile number. Then you can search UGC Net Economics. Then this course is visible to you. And if you join for UGC Net Economics Paper 2, you will get UGC Net Paper 1 material at free of cost so the here the questions are the first question is if the social cost of producing chickens is greater than the private cost then we can sure that so here the production of chicken uh, if, uh, the uh, cost of social cost of producing chicken is more and private cost of producing chicken is less then it is option a a positive externality exists Option B, chicken is healthful and more should be produced. Option C, a negative externality exists. Option D, the price of chicken is too low. So when social cost is higher than private cost, then it is known as the negative externality. So here, the, if the social cost is, if the social cost of the production is higher than the private cost, then it is a negative externality. And the negative externality means, it, you know, it is going to pill cost. If it is a positive externality, it is going to benefit others and if it is a negative externality, it is going to uh, create cost on others. And when externalities are going to occur, when some of the costs or benefits of a transaction fall on someone other than the producer or the consumer. The second question is, in order for someone to be a pre-rider, an activity must be undertaken that option a arranges for ride sharing at rush hour option b creates benefits for people who can't be forced to pay for them option c beautifies a neighborhood option d improves national defense yes here the right answer is option b uh, in order for someone to be a pre-rider pre-rider means a person who is using the goods and services at pre of cost who is not going to pay the tax so in order for someone to be a pre-rider an activity must be undertaken that it, it must create benefits for people who can't be forced to pay for them. So option B is right answer. It means they are not paying for the good but they are, they are going to enjoy the benefits of the good. They are known as the pre-riders. So a pre-rider is someone who wants others to pay for a public good but plans to use the good themselves a person who is using the good but he is not paying for it someone someone is paying for that good uh, question number three the private market will not provide enough of a pure public good because this private market is not going is not going to provide the enough pure public goods for the people because option a negative externalities Option B, obligatory control over production. Option C, public choice not to produce the good. Option D, the pre-rider problem. Here also the same thing because of the problem of pre-rider. So because of the pre-rider problem, private market will not provide the public goods. So the next question is, government failure occurs when? Option A, social cost lies to the left of private cost. Option B, the good it uh, purchases has a greater negative externality than a positive one. Option C, the quantity of public goods it purchases is less than the socially optimal quantity. Option D, it, it plays a higher price for a public goods than it would pay on the private market. So government, uh, government failure occurs when the quantity of public goods it purchases is less than the socially optimal quantity then the government is going to fail here 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज पॉजिटिव इकोनॉमिक्स ऑप्शन ए डज नॉट डिपेंड ऑन मार्केट इंटरेक्शन ऑप्शन बी ओनली लुक्स एट द बेस्ट पार्ट्स ऑफ द इकोनॉमी ऑप्शन सी एग्जामिंग्स हाउ द इकोनॉमी एक्चुअली वर्क्स ऑप्शन डी इज वेरी सब्जेक्टिव यस हियर द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी पॉजिटिव इकोनॉमिक्स इज गोइंग टू एग्जाम इन हाउ द इकोनॉमी एक्चुअली वर्किंग सो पॉजिटिव इकोनॉमिक्स इट इज एन ऑब्जेक्टिव स्ट्रीम ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स एंड इट इट रिलाइज ऑन पैक्ट्स एंड व्हाट इज हैपनिंग and whatever conclusions are drawn from positive economics analysis can be tested and backed up by the data and also remember positive economics is not going to provide any advice or instruction the next question is which method can help in obtaining a welfare improvement if externalities exist option a pigouvian tax option b regulation option c assigning property rights and permitting bargaining option d all of the above yes which method can help in obtaining a welfare improvement if there is an externality so in this in the case of externality the pigouvian taxes regulation and also assigning property rights and pertain permitting bargaining all of these are going to help help for the welfare improvement so option d is correct answer so if there is an externalities then regulation assigning property rights permitting bargaining pigouvian tax can help in obtaining welfare yes these can improve welfare question number 7 which one of the following statements represents population pyramid with wide base option a declining fertility rates option b high fertility rates option c declining death rates option d high death rates yes a uh, population pyramid with wide base it is high fertility rate next question is has per the census 2011 data which of the following state has the lowest literacy rate in india option a bihar option b arunachal pradesh option c nagaland option d sikkim yes i as you all know bihar Yes, according to census 2011, Bihar, Kerala has the highest total literacy rate and female literacy rate, whereas Lakshadweep had the highest male literacy rate and Bihar has the lowest overall literacy rate. And also Rajasthan has the lowest male literacy rate, while Bihar has the lowest female literacy rate. question number 9 montreal protocol is related to option a global warming option b ozone depletion option c air pollution option d water pollution so montreal protocol is related to ozone depletion yes the montreal protocol it is an international treaty designed to protect the ozone layer by phasing out the production of numerous substances that are responsible for the ozone depletion and this montreal protocol was agreed on 16th september in the year of 1987 and it entered into force on 1st january 1989 question number 10 which one of the following stages of demographic transition model predicts a high birth but a low death rate option a first stage option b second stage option c third stage option d second late stage yes a high birth but low death rate it is represented by second stage birth rate is high low but death rate is low here you can see the all the five stages of demographic transition the first stage in stage 1 birth rate birth day birth rate is also high and death rate is also high when it comes to second stage here birth rate is high and death rate starts falling in third stage birth rate is also falling death rate is also more slowly falling in fourth stage both are low birth rate is also low death rate is also low but again when it comes to fifth stage birth rate start rising but death rate is decreasing the next question is net population change is determined by option a mortality option b migration option c fertility option d both a and c so here net population change is determined by mortality 
and fertility so both a and c option d is the right answer the next question india's decadal population's growth rate has been continuously declining since option a 1971 to 81 1981 to 91 91 to 2000 2001 to 2011 so here option a 1971 to 1981 the right answer the next question which one of the following criteria is used by census of india 2011 to define the town option a population growth option b population density option c literacy rate option d sex ratio this here uh, population density is used Uh, by census of india 2011 to define the town population density means it is the average number of people who are going to live in a per unit area question number 14 how many stages of population growth are involved so there are uh, five stages there are five population growth stages are there so there are five demographic stages are there uh, first stage is, it is also known as the high stationary this stage is characterized by a high birth rate and high death rate second stage it is early expanding here the rate, death rate starts falling and uh, birth rate is same it is increasing third stage is known as late expanding death rate declines and birth rate also declines fourth stage this stage is characterized by low birth rate and low death rate again in fifth stage population start rising and death rates is decreasing the next question who developed the theory of demographic transition yes here four options are given let us move to the answer directly the right answer is option c warren thompson Yes, the demographic transition model was initially proposed in the year of 1929 by demographer Warren Thompson. His model was having four stages. One is pre-industrial stage, urbanizing or industrializing stage, mature industrial, and post-industrial. Okay, friends, this is about today's session. And if you want to join our crash course for UGC NET or SET in economics, you will get complete theory lectures, complete MCQs lectures. you will get entire syllabus mock test with solution pdf you will get notes on all the units practice mcq set is available and you and also you will get discount and if you join for paper to you will get paper one material at free if you want to join you can contact us and you can also download global online app from the play store yes i wish all the best to 